Welcome to Strangeville. Welcome to the channel. My name is Kevin Strange, 20-year veteran of the underground. I'm a cartoonist, novelist, independent fil filmmaker, and I am here today to try to talk to you about comics because, gang, curiously, our video we did last week on The Complete Crumb Volume 8 featuring the death of Fritz the Cat got zapped off of YouTube for nudity and sexual gratification. And my appeal was denied. And when I did my YouTube partner uh, chat, it was completely unhelpful. And the AI bot pretending to be a woman um, just told me to submit an appeal, which I had already done, and the appeal was denied. Did you get that joke that the Robert Crumb video was zapped? Yeah. So anyway, we have a conundrum here at the channel, gang, because we work really hard uh, to bring you daily comic book videos. And obviously, I can't sit here and keep getting the channel struck. We didn't get a strike for, for this, but they will if we continue to uh, upload videos they don't like. And I don't know. This makes no sense to me because um, I've seen channels far smaller than mine. Uh, show Robert Crumb comics and I've seen uh, channels way larger than mine show Robert Crumb comics nudity, uh, the sexual stuff all of it and those videos have, some of them have tens of thousands of views and those are just fine and we raced up to you know over a thousand views in a couple of days on our uh, coverage of Robert Crumb and then the video got zapped the conclusion, get it, zapped. The conclusion that I have come to is that someone must have reported the channel. Maybe that's a holdover from the Bizarro Wars. A lot of those uh, weirdos are very autistic and tend to stalk the people they don't like forever. And even though the Bizarro Wars were like seven, eight years ago, there are still people who hang around on the channel to downvote. Uh, every video they can and um, and also report us and try to you know just try to be an annoying thorn in our side because you know arguments don't work with the with the uh, you know with the people that don't like me um, don't like me for ideological reasons because I don't um, bend the knee to the leftist overlords and therefore um, I I am persona non grata in a lot of uh, artistic communities around the web so uh, this is you know common for us and uh, I'm gonna talk about what the solution is gonna be for uh, to get around talking about Crumb because Crumb is one of the uh, Robert Crumb is one of the most popular cartoonists to talk about on YouTube and I want to continue to goose that algorithm and keep getting um, you know, hits on here for uh, Crumb stuff. Crumb's one of my favorite cartoonists, one of my biggest influences. My comics, um, if I opened these up, I would sh assuredly get um, my channel struck because these are all, you know, I do um, a neo underground style of uh, cartooning that is very reminiscent of Crumb and the, and the undergrounds, which is a, the perfect time to uh, tell you guys about uh, my stuff. We'll take a break as the late great Ed Piscor used to say, uh, um, this channel is brought to you by the comics that we make. And I forgot to grab my iPad, so I'm going to walk over here and grab it. And we're going to talk about my new comic book. Uh, it is October. It is Monster Month. And that means I have released a brand new comic book piece called uh, Count Kefula, a.k.a. Dracula in Strangeville. And uh, if you like Robert Crumb comics, I think you would get a kick, uh, a real good kick out of my Count Kefield comics. If you like the undergrounds, um, if you like dudes like Spain Rodriguez and um, the other, uh, you know, Gilbert, uh, I was gonna say Gilbert Burns. I don't know, I'm, I'm blanking on the, uh, the um, the names of our great cartoonists here, gang, in our uh, in our undergrounds. Um, who cares? Because uh, we're talking about 
Count Kefula, a.k.a. Dracula in Strangeville. Uh, 28-page, full-color comic book piece. Um, Dracula breezes into the peaceful town of Strangeville, gathers up some big booty hoes, turns them into vampires, and promptly throws himself a uh, blood bang party. What's a blood bang party? Well, you have to read the comic to find out. He The only thing he's lacking is the best weed in Strangeville. That's when our lovable loser heroes, Nixon and Hogan, the resident weed dealers with the best weed in town, the Colombian smoke weed, that's when they end up in the shenanigans. And uh, that's when everything goes sideways for old Count Kefula. You'll have to read the comic to find out more. You can read it for... Um, you can read it for only $3 a month at the Patreon link below. Uh, that gets you access to my brand new book, Count Kefula, Dra a.k.a. Dracula and Strangeville. came out on... Um, October 1st, as well as all my other uh, comics like Wizard of Ganj, like uh, Kevin Strange's Space Worms, Death to Strangeville, Too Many Dabs, Issues 1 and 2, and many more Kevin Strange comics right there at your fingertips digitally at the Patreon. $3 a month, link in the description. I am doing, through the month of October, a physical pre-order. 12 bucks gets you the 28-page full-color Count Kefula comic book and this 11 by 17 poster piece that you're looking at here on the iPad right now. We are marching toward uh, 1,000, I almost said 10,000 subscribers, that'll be a nice day. Um, 1,000 uh, subscribers. Um, and when we get there, we're, we, we have less than 150 to go. So if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. You get daily comics review videos uh, as long as they don't get zapped from, uh, from the YouTube channel. Um, when we hit that coveted 1,000 subscribers and get out of small channel hell, I am going to put uh, Kevin Strange's Space Worms 164 pages of raunchy splatter gore uh, Neo Underground Outlaw Comics shenanigans up on the Patreon for free. You won't have to, uh, if you're not subscribed to the Patreon, which you should, it's only $3 a month and you get access to all my comics, all my novels, all of my movies, but uh, it will be up there for free to download um, for an entire month after we, so just being a subscriber will get you access to one of my longest and coolest um, comic books to date. Uh, which brings us back to the conundrum of what are we going to do with the crumb stuff. Well, I can tell you right now that the video we did, the last video we did, um, Robert Crumb, America's Horniest Cartoonist, question mark, I put that video up in its entirety on the Patreon. I also marked it for now for free. So if you didn't watch our first video on Crumb and you're curious about what got us zapped from YouTube, uh, you can click the link in the description and watch that video for free right now at the Patreon. And I believe that's how my original um, idea for doing a channel when Ed and Jim were still actively doing cartoonist kayfabe before um, Ed Piscor was murdered by the um, comic book industry. My idea was to do um, a show called Cartoonists Uncensored where we looked at this more adult material, stuff like Robert Crumb, stuff like Zapped Comics, um, stuff like this really rad uh, comic that I'm in called um, All You Need Is uh, Love Comics, or All, All You Need Is Love, uh, Spread Love Zine, or All You Need Is Love Comics. Um, these are uh, crazy, very raunchy, and um, sexually perverted, degenerate uh, comics from a bunch of dudes that I really uh, respect. Um, a lot of great artists have been featured in the pages of Spread Love Zine and the Spread Love Comics, and uh, including myself. I've been in a couple issues of Spread Love Zine, uh, but that's the kind of stuff that would get us kicked off of uh, YouTube immediately. So we're gonna put stuff like the Spread Love Zine um, in the, uh, behind the um, Patreon paywall for the $3 a month. Um, also stuff like we're gonna cover Hart Fisher's infamous A Taste of Cherry um, story that is featured in Verotica number four. Um, Glenn Danzig's Verotic line of comics that Hart Fisher was the um, outlaw comics 
master, the most dangerous man in comic books, and the creator of Boneyard Press and American Horrors, AmericanHorrors.net. Um, this um, comic book actually got retailers thrown in jail uh, because of obscenity, but we can't cover it here on YouTube. They'll kick us off, so we're going to cover this behind the Patreon paywall. You get what I'm saying? So we're going to, um, now that, you know, once Ed Piscor was murdered by the comics industry, I decided that we were just going to do a full-time daily comics channel because uh, cartoonist Kayfabe is no more, at least currently. Uh, he's been dead for six months, and while there are um, charity conventions being thrown in his name, and there are comic projects being released in his name, and there's a lot of money being thrown around in the name of Ed Piscor, cartoonist Kayfabe never came back. Maybe it will in some form or incarnation, but right now it seems like uh, making money is more important than doing the show. Um, sorry if that offends you, if you don't think that's an appropriate um, opinion to have about the Ed Piscor situation. But I don't think trying to cash in on his name so soon after his death is a very nice thing to do or a very appropriate thing to do. But this isn't a video about Ed Piscor. This is a video about Robert Crumb. So... Yes, in the future, um, I'm going to have to cover the crumb stuff on the Patreon. I hope you guys come over and subscribe. Three bucks isn't a big ask, and you get access to a ton of stuff. And so I guess I'm officially throwing the gauntlet down and, um, and launching the, um, the uh, Cartoonists Uncensored uh, show over on the uh, Patreon, where we will, and, we'll, and, and we're going to have uh, a, lot of, a lot of stuff in, in that regard. Um, coming up in the near um, future, but uh, I don't want to. I don't want to talk too. I don't want to talk about it too much because um, there's a lot of moving parts, and I don't like to announce things that uh, may or may not actually. I don't like to announce things too far in the future because there's too many variables that might slow things down or change things or cancel things. So as of right now, all I can say is there's a Robert Crumb video that you can watch for free for now. Eventually it's gonna get paywalled and then I'm going to start doing more of those paywall adult style um, uncensored comic book shows over there on the Patreon. And I think I'll do little, I'll do like shorter videos like this for every single one of those things without opening the book at all and just sort of setting the scene and then telling you guys, well, it's over there on the Patreon, free for now. Eventually, everything we do over there will be uh, paywalled. It's only three dollars a month, and all of that, um, all that goes to support the channel. I've got a very uh, dinky little um, laptop that we shoot these videos on. Uh, as you can hear, I don't have a great microphone yet to um, <clears throat> record these things. I would, I would love much better sound, and I'm still working out trying to this the webcam that I'm using. This webcam here is an HD webcam. It does record in 1024, but it, these are still processing, these videos are still processing in standard definition for some reason. So all of the, you know, um, if you become a channel member for $2.99 and get access to all of the um, future videos that have not yet been released to the public on the main YouTube channel, $2.99 a month as a membership gets you access to that. Um, <clears throat> or if you, um, you know, join the Patreon, or if you send super chats or super thanks. Super thanks are enabled right now. If you uh, find uh, monetary value in these shows that I do every single day, every single video has a button you can click at the, at the um, under the video that allows you to send a small donation as a super thanks to the channel and all those proceeds. Or when we do live streams, because we're going to start doing drawing jams where we do live streams and put out monthly uh, zines uh, that have particular spicy themes um, that will make the um, the people Ed Piscord named in his suicide note sweat. Um, we're going to start doing those uh, those zines during, or we're going to start doing uh, drawing jams where we draw the stuff that we're going to put in the zine. And when we do those live streams, you'll be able to send super chats, and we'll read those super chats out loud. And all of those donations um, and all of those super chats, super thanks all of the member the memberships it all should bring value to you because we're giving you a free daily show plus all this great comics content on the patreon um i don't see any reason why um you shouldn't uh support us financially uh, all that will go towards upgrading all this equipment better webcam better microphone better um laptop and it will support us and, and allow us to make more and more videos and more and more comics which is what we're here to do we're here at the um, 
Kevin Strange YouTube channel, and we're here uh, at the Dollar Bin Diggers, uh, and we're here in Strangeville to move comics forward. We're picking up the torch uh, that Ed Piscor dropped after his untimely demise, and we are trying to grow uh, the comic, the grow comic books in the West to a place of reverence again, not a place of scorn, ridicule, and um, shame, which is sort of where the mainstream comics industry sits today. So, man, I read some really cool stuff out of this Crumb book. This is a great, um, this is a great volume. Contains a lot of stuff from Big Ass Comics. Which uh, big ass comics number two, which crack, uh, uh, stuff that cracks me up, and uh, just lots of great, great comics that apparently I can't show you here. So um, we're gonna pretty much call it at that. Uh, I don't know what else to say on the subject. I was shocked when they took our video down. I was even more shocked when they didn't, um, when the appeal didn't go through. You know, I was talking to the. Uh, to the lady, the, to the, the to the lady, to the robot pretending to be the lady, uh, in the um, uh, YouTube partner chat, and uh, you know they said uh, part of the the email that I got said that the nudity and sexual gratification uh, policy uh, can sometimes be um, like circumvented in the uh, in the event of um, educational or artistic value, and I said to the lady like I don't know what can be um, the robot pretending to be a lady. I said, I don't know what could be more educational than a YouTube video educating uh, the public on the cartoons of the art, the art cartoons of a cartoonist. This book is released by Fantagraphics, which is a, a prestige, um, you know, American publisher. And you can buy that. I bought this book on Amazon.com. You can buy this book in bookstores. I don't understand the... Um, I don't understand the notion that it violates any uh, principles. I don't understand the notion that it that it uh, that it that it violates any terms of service because this is a mainstream. This is a freaking mainstream comic book. It's a collection of one of the great American cartoonists, one of the greatest American artists to ever live. And I can't open it up and show you the stuff. I can't show stuff on like like they could have marked it as like adult content, right? Where you have to be eighteen to uh, to view it. Instead, they zapped the whole fucking thing. Uh, makes no sense to me. If you've got Robert Crumb comics or any of the undergrounds that you uh, that are burning a hole in your collection that you want to see reviewed, not on this channel, but on the Patreon, the Cartoonist Uncensored Patreon show, uh, you can send them to Kevin Strange, P.O. Box number 5, Cottage Hills, Illinois, 62018. If you are a creator and you would like to see your work featured here on the main YouTube channel, or if you uh, create spicy, spicy content like Adam Yeeter does, um, I'll feature it on the uh, on the Cartoonist Uncensored show on the Patreon. Uh, Adam was kind enough to send us his Blaspheme Anthology, which is an anti-zealot, which are anti-zealot comics. Uh, curiously, anti-zealot always, um, coincidentally, just means um, white Christian males. It's never, um, it's never Muslim, uh, Islamic zealots. It's never um, uh, Jewish zealots like uh, you know Israel, the the uh, IDF that's like bombing carpet bombing uh, brown children um, off the face of the earth hourly. Right now, as of the recording of this video, um, it's curious that like these white metalheads never, um, they never cover things like that when they do these anti-religion comics they only uh, attack white Christians which is interesting because um, when uh, w because that it's it's interesting that whites are the most critical the most self-critical when it comes to racial and religious um, criticism or satire or whatever um, you never see the black community go after itself, and if you do, something like Medea or Friday, Ice Cube's Friday, or like my uh, the book that I have here uh, called Birth of a Nation, 
which is done by um, Aaron Magruder, the creator of the Boondocks. The Boondocks and this graphic novel, you know, Birth of a Nation. This is a it's a it's it's all about East St. Louis and East St. Louis seceding from the Union and trying to become its own country and the and the shenanigans that ensue because they couldn't take care of themselves as a tiny city, let alone as their own country. And it's always done is as goofy goofball fun and isn't it funny and silly that we. Um, that we can't take care of ourselves, but when it comes to these uh, these white uh, these white metalheads, when they when they want to go after religion, they uh, they go they go hard after uh, white people, but they can't. Uh, it's never silly. It's never goofy. It's never done in the way that blacks satirize themselves or Jewish people satirize themselves. And uh, I don't even know if uh, Muslims make art. I don't know if there's any th such thing as Islamic art. I don't know. They make good fighters in the UFC. Um, uh, like Khabib Nurmagomedov is, you know, one of the best of all time, and I don't think he uh, draws comics. Anyway, um, having said all that, hit that link in the description to watch the original Crumb video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you guys at the dollar bin. Remember to keep on digging.